Hey everybody, this is Nick Wheeler with a free program tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use Format Factory. This is a really useful program and it's also fun to play with its little logo when you open it up. You just kind of click the mouse and it's almost like water droplets or something and you just click and it's like doop. It's really fun. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, I'm just going to show you how to convert um, a file to AVI. Um, this can convert a whole lot of different types of uh, video including MOV which is really useful for Windows uh, Windows users because MOV is a um, that's a that's a Macintosh or Apple file Apple video file and sometimes if you use an Apple or Macintosh program on a Windows uh, it's hard to use it because it requires MOV so you can also convert audio Pictures, TIF, GIF, BMP, PNG, JPG, um, also uh, TGA, PCX. Don't know what any of those are. I just know that they're different types of files, and they do different things sometimes. You can also get your DVD and convert it to a video file. This is good if you have a movie on DVD but not on your computer, and you want to stick it on your iPod, watch it on a road trip. That's what I do and then an advanced setting which I don't know anything about so let's just go back to video um, go ahead and start by clicking all to AVI because this is most commonly you want to know how to convert to AVI because this is the file type that I use for all of my tutorials just so you know uh, start by finding this uh, green plus sign and clicking add files just right next to it files of type the open panel should open up to, uh, under files of type click all files and then uh, get I'm using a, a GIF image because there's a guy on the Y forum that wants uh, is kinda interested in getting a GIF to um, AVI because he animates in GIF but doesn't know how to convert it yet so I'm just gonna do this uh, once you have your video file or whatever kind of file that you wanna use selected uh, click open or just click it and it should automatically add it right here and uh, here's your file once you have that done uh, here you should see a quality and size it'll say high medium or low some uh, depends on what you leave it on from the last time you use this program uh, click that and it'll bring up video settings and then uh, drop down this quality drop down menu and I'm gonna use low quality but you can use what you want but I have to do this because it slows down my computer and I'm recording my screen and I kinda get bummed out when I have to remake tutorials constantly and this is probably the sixth time I've made this one um, when converting a GIF you're gonna want to um, experiment with the FPS because converting it converting a an animated picture to video is kinda tricky for a computer so Mess around with the FPS. I set it to 30 because I have to speed it up later anyway. And uh, once you're done messing with the settings, uh, click OK, and then uh, all this the quality and settings are set. And then uh, click OK here, and then it'll bring you back to the Format Factory Home window, and it'll have your video file right there, ready to convert. Uh, up a little bit, click Start and then it'll just take a, a second or two for it to uh, convert but since I'm recording my screen it takes forever uh, when converting a movie uh, taking it off the DVD to your iPod or something uh, it's probably gonna take a very long time so I recommend uh, start the uh, press start and then just leave it overnight or something because it takes a long time once it says complete it's done so go ahead and click output folder and then it shows you and I've made this tutorial before as you can see but I've deleted all the other ones otherwise there'd be like 10 here um, that's the first one so here is your file right here and then uh, go ahead and open this with um, if you have it virtual dev you're gonna wanna do this because you need to mess with the frame rate sometimes when converting to G uh, GIF to um, a video we don't need the second or the output window so just make that 25% so it doesn't slow your computer down but I need to see this so I just set it to 200% so it's really big um, go ahead and click play or the first play button and it'll kinda go through your video a little bit but it's really slow for me 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press stop, rewind, and then go up to video frame rate or control R. And then uh, under source rate adjustment, click change frame rate to FPS. And uh, I've done this before, so I know to set it to 100 for my computer, but you might want to uh, just experiment with it. And once you've done that, click OK. And to see what it effect it had on it, click the first play button and then watch your video through and make sure that the um, speed is what you want it at. And that's about how I want it. That's, that's how fast the original file was. So, um, yeah. So, you just want to mess with it, take some experimentation with the frame rate and stuff. Uh, when you're done, go up to File, click Save as AVI or F7, and then um, pick the output folder where you want it to, to save to, and it'll automatically save it. Uh, just so you know, I'm not using this lightning effect anymore because it's not that great compared to my nice new one. Uh, that was the tutorial. I hope it helped a lot. If there was any problems you might have had, um, or you missed something, you can rewatch the tutorial. And if I miss anything, please let me know, and I'll try to fix it. Thanks for watching.